Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna to go to a car show. And if you haven't heard the saying, taking a motorcycle to a car show, is kind of like taking a knife to a gunfight. But I've got this old motorcycle, 1976 Honda XL350. And I thought it would be a good candidate for the car show I was headed towards. Uh, before I took it though, I wanted to do just a little bit of cleanup. Uh, it's a fairly clean bike already, but it, it could use some things. So I've started taking it apart here. You'll notice a muffler sitting there. Uh, it was the biggest thing, um, just just rough, just just needed to be cleaned. So I got it all taken apart, and then I took some, some steel wool, some light sandpaper, and I kind of scuff everywhere I want to paint. Okay, and I'm just doing kind of the exposed stuff. This is obviously not a full restoration. But we, we scuff all the paint up so the fresh paint I'm going to apply here in a little while will stick really well. Once we've got it all scuffed up, I'm just using a can of carb cleaner and a paper towel. And I'm going over everything I scuffed. Just making sure there's no dust, no loose paint or grease or anything I may have missed. And then we start masking. Just using shop towels and some masking tape to cover anything that uh, I don't want paint on, don't want any overspray. And because this is not a, a full professional, obviously tear down and repaint, we're gonna actually peel the masking and everything off really quickly after we've painted just to make sure uh, we didn't get any overspray. And that way we can take carb cleaner, paper towel, and we can actually wipe fresh paint very easily off of any areas that we accidentally painted. So take some time, um, just kind of use your head, make sure you're covering everything you don't want to get painted. All right, we're ready to start the painting process. I don't know that I recommend using the blowtorch like this. It's somewhat dangerous with the tape and all of those paper towels. Uh, if you're careful, a uh, better thing to do probably would be to just let the bike sit in the hot sun for a couple hours, get it nice and warm, and then just like you see, get every angle, take your time, try and get every little corner nook and cranny with the spray paint. I've got a little piece of cardboard I use to, to block uh, overspray of, of bigger areas and when it's all sprayed like I said we go ahead and rip all the masking off come back and start cleaning up any any little spots of overspray you might find once we get that done we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours and go work on the muffler So all the parts are finished, the paint is relatively dry, it's time to start putting things back together. One of the common mistakes I almost always make is I forget to put gloves on. Um, and especially in a scenario like this where the paint is still very, very fresh, wear gloves. You're going to appreciate the fact that there's no fingerprints in your fresh paint. Um, so cleaning, assembling, just kind of getting everything back together, get, make sure everything's good and tight. And once we get it assembled, we'll do some final cleanup and polishing. I like to use WD-40 
on things like the gas tank and the forks and stuff. It just gives it a really good shine. It doesn't last very long, but it looks great for a bit. down here by the stream. Doggo's splashing around. Hey, Thermite. It's favorite spot. Wanted to show you the finished product on the old XL350. It's our real quick refurbish. Uh, not a huge difference, but I like it. Um, just subtle, I guess. Muffler you know, just looks a whole lot nicer. I still need to get some steel wool and polish that. But the header pipe, you know, fresh paint on it. The shiny paint on the swing arm. Uh, back here and all the black stuff. I think, you know, like I said, just cleaning some of those bits and pieces up make it look so much better. And uh, I'm gonna get some steel wool and polish these forks and uh, fork tubes and everything. Um, a little more cleaning here and there. I think this bike will be a looker. It's already pretty clean for pushing almost 50 years old. Runs good, looks good. Just a classic old Honda. Gotta love them. Run forever. Yeah.